So you got a job as a hired gun musician. Congratulations. And if you're so lucky, it's an established, well-known band. Now, what happens is that you're typically gonna go on tour and you're going to maybe even be in the band for a while. But remember, there are limitations. You are not a permanent member of the band. And so that means you don't get to participate in things like merch sales. Now, there are all kinds of great things that come along with these kinds of jobs, but what I wanna discuss and just remind you guys, especially my hired gun musicians, is that you always have to consider the longevity of your career. And you need to make sure that you are always working on establishing your brand. So in this video, I'm gonna go over my tips for hired gun musicians. Hi guys, I'm Ms. Crystal. I'm an entertainment attorney and public speaker. I'm the owner of Dukes Up Records, and most importantly, I'm an independent musician. We release videos just like this once a week to help you with your music careers and getting guys to the next level. We talk about things like copyright, trademark, music marketing, and everything in between. So let's get into the video. The first tip is build your online presence. Now, I'm not just talking about my actual clients. I'm talking about even some of my musician friends who, this is what they do. They get hired as paid guns. It's super exciting and they get to be in all of these cool bands. But what I do see is that there's really a lack of building that online presence. And so, of course, we can look at social media, but even keep in mind things like your website. As a musician, you need to always be building and showcasing what it is that you're doing. Show the behind the scenes, especially if you're having all of these great shows and all these fun experiences with your friends and your bandmates, you need to be capturing that. You need to be documenting. And that is how essentially you build your online presence is because you make content as you go along your journey. Now, here's the thing. With hired gun musicians, you guys are usually some of the absolute best musicians. And so I almost feel like there's this hesitation to kind of buy in and play the game because what you do is you play music. You are a musician. Well, unfortunately, you gotta just throw that out the window. You have to play the game and you are playing the game. If you are a hired gun musician, there are things that you had to do to get to that certain place, including training, of course. But in order to continue, in order for people to even be able to look at your grandioso resume, that's usually, they go to your social media profile. So even as far as establishing an actual fan base, and building so that there are people who follow you for you, not necessarily because you are now in this band. These are things that you have to be not only considering, but actually applying. So call it whatever you want. The bottom line is that you have to change your perspective and you have to get on your social media, make content and be posting consistently. Which then brings me to tip number two, define your brand. Now it's easy enough, especially if we're in some cool rock band to say, my brand is now, I am the guitar player for this certain rock band. That's awesome. And that certainly is a part of your identity. That's not your whole identity. You were a whole other person before you became a member of that band and you will be after the band, or at least your involvement with the band ends. So as you're thinking about the content that you're gonna make, what you're gonna put out to your fans, what are the other aspects of who you are even if it had something to do with what you do as a musician, right? Show us playing, show us practicing, show us anything having to do with you and your personality. Do you like to go hiking when you're not touring? What do you like to do that's fun? And this goes back to let's make sure that we're watching the journey. And this helps to define your brand of who you are. So that let's say if and when your involvement with a particular band ends and now you move on, you maybe sign with a different band, nonetheless, you still have your own separate base of fans that aren't just following you because you happen to be that guitar player for that particular band, but they were actually following just you. Number three, think ahead. Where are you gonna be in the next, let's say five years from now? I bet that you're probably not gonna be with your current band anymore. And that's probably gonna be a good thing, right? So you move on, you move up, you go on to bigger and better things. But along the way, and again, as I've seen, even just with my own friends, that will go on tour and they'll just be a part of all these fantastic, fun type of adventures, but they haven't done any due diligence along the way to kind of build their separate fan bases. And so when their time with that band ends, they're kind of left with, what do I do now? So even if you were kind of building a separate adventure, I know some people who are just amazing, amazing musicians. And so they'll even put out programs and they'll help teach people. They will put, you know, let's say Skype lessons, whatever it is that you are doing to kind of build not only your separate branding, but even ensuring your own separate legacy of what's going to happen once your time with this particular 
band ends. So be thinking ahead, not just tomorrow, not just next week, but really five years down the road, 10 years down the road, because it all absolutely matters. Number four, capitalize on what's working. If you are so lucky to be in a established, successful band, you really need to utilize the time. And so besides kind of building your side branding, during the course of your involvement with this particular band, you should be posting as much as possible, highlighting with your bandmates. What are you guys doing? And maybe even using your own account to go to the social media accounts for the actual band. Engage with the fans because maybe they don't even know about your social media accounts. So you have to utilize what is right now really a funnel, a funnel of potential fans that will not only follow your band, but will also follow you individually and don't lose that amazing opportunity that you have right now. So now that you have these four tips for hired gun musicians in the back of your minds, I need you to actually put this into practice. Don't just think about it. Don't just, you know, think you're going to do it later. Actually do it today, right now. And sometimes that just means as far as we're actually gonna start thinking about and making lists of the different things that we do that's maybe outside of being a musician, or maybe it's, if you're in a rock band, maybe on the side you like to DJ EDM music. It's still just a different part of your branding. And so you need to kind of explore that and try new things. Even with my social media, Right now, I'm in the process of making an album. I'm in the pre-production for a music video. And so right now it's a little bit tough to go and make content, but you gotta kind of work with what you have. And so you talk about your story, you talk about where you're at in the process. And so again, it just allows fans to kind of go along the journey with you. And of course, your journey's gonna continue beyond your current band. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any new videos from your favorite redhead. And I will see you guys on the next one. I'm Miss Crystal. Bye.